year-end accounting entries for accrued income and income received in advance. Now both these things are actually uh, opposite of each other. So first let's understand what is an accrued income. Let's say there is a person A who puts a fixed deposit with the bank of 10,000 and he gets interest on that at the rate of 10%. The bank says the payment for this interest is going to be made in 2014 while the deposit was made in 2012. So the entire amount which is the principal plus the interest from 2012 to 2014 is going to be paid in 2014. Now let's say A is preparing his balance sheet on 2013. Right? In this case what happens is that even though A has not received the interest, if he is following the accrual basis of accounting, he has to show as an income whatever he has earned. So if he's earned 10% on this, let's say first year 10% on 10,000 is 1,000. This 1,000 is an income which he has earned though he has not received it. So such an income is known as accrued income. Accrue means to become due, receivable. So basically receivable in this particular case accrued necessarily does not mean receivable. It could be payable also. Okay. So basically what this means is this income is due to him. Right. So what is the accounting entry for this which is passed? This is an income for him to obviously he will credit to interest account. 1000. Why? Because interest is an income for him. Now because this interest is receivable from the bank or whosoever he's done, we also debit an account called accrued interest account by same amount. This account is basically an asset account, meaning what? This is going to be reflected in the balance sheet. As against this, income received in advance means what? It means originally you received some income. Let's say for example, you get, okay, let me use a different color. Bank account debit, let's say 15,000 to any income you may say, let's say commission. So let's say you received commission of 15,000 out of which 10,000 was due for 2012-13 and 5,000 was due for 2013-14. So while you received 15,000 of commission, your income was actually 10,000. So you've received the income in advance, you've received it in the bank. So at the end of the year, just to reflect what is the correct income, you will do what? You will reverse this commission or whatever account you would have credited, commission account debit 5000 to commission received in advance. And this is shown as a liability on the liability side of the balance sheet. Right?